Welcome. We are on the home screen. Um, as you can see from the title, we're starting a new series. If your eye is sharp, you would notice test plaque. Test plaque? Test pack, please ignore. 1.0.2 pre. Not sure why the pre is there. It's version 1, right? Anyways, this is a lot of mods. I'm wondering... This might be more mods than Monster. I don't know. Anyways, we got invited to a server. Or, I got invited to a server. Private server. For my PAX East run. So, this isn't my first time on. But, I was trying to think of what I could do on here, really. Because, even though uh, the Reddit pack, TPPI, has drag tech, it's, it's very nerfed. Or, not, not nerfed. Buffed? I guess so. But yeah, there's a little dome here. Starting off with Tinker's Construct. Um, I did cheat a little bit, I guess, by... Because they, they have been on this server for a long time. So I grabbed a jetpack and uh, some armor and some tools. But other than that, we are fresh new. And... Yeah. So I want to get the true Tinker's experience this time, I guess. I think we might even be focusing on mechanism for this round. Maybe some... The updated thermal expansion and industrial craft. But a lot of fun things. No serious. So yeah. Let's start off with this. Right? This smeltery drain. Um smeltery controller and faucet. Right? I forgot how to recipe stack. But yeah. No. Oh, right there. <laughs> the Tinker Table. Wait, right? Nine. You should only need 18 seared bricks. Oh, right, we need the, the drain. No, not the drain, the, the tank. Which means we need to make a bucket. Should have been more prepared for this. But, um, apparently there was an update whoops, where you can now um, uh, pour the sear stone over cobblestone. And it saves a lot of seared... Uh, a lot of the melted down seared stone. I guess, I think. Oh, that's the wrong way. So I have made some Tinker tools. Nothing too major. Hopefully we're going to be customizing them a lot this episode. There we go. We get a bucket and some lava. So... We don't have too much iron. Oh well. Guess I'll just get one bucket of lava for now. Another thing I really want to play with in this series is chisel. These blocks look amazing. I don't I know I don't really have like an extreme eye for uh aesthetics, but these armor plating blocks. <sighs> so amazing. So amazing. Right. So I guess I should tell you that I was invited by um, Basil, Basil the Bat Lord, I think his name is. Yeah. It's extremely loud. So thank you. Thank you. Right. Um, a lot of people know that with Tinker's Construct, especially starting off, the easiest way to get... Um, Easiest way to get tools, good tools, that are fairly cheap, is ho 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 ho
um, is to make stone tools, believe it or not. Or, a lot of you probably know that. Because you, when you make stone tools, you can repair them. Ignore that for now, I was just experimenting with names. Um, you can repair them just with a block of stone. And if you modify them to have, like, all sorts of fancy things, like, uh, like luck or speed, you can get a, like a, basically like an unenchanted diamond pickaxe with, or, a, a pickaxe with fortune three, that has a diamond speed, that doesn't break, that you can repair with stone, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Um, I'd like to make a hopper, but, um, I guess I'll have to do for now. So we should be able to just put a cobblestone block in there, and those should melt down, right? Let's go get some more lava. So, I'm pretty sure everyone by now is very familiar with Tinker's Construct, but I'll explain the basis anyways. Um, it's a, it's a complete overhaul of tools. So you can see here, you can name them, and um, I'll get the books in a right after I get upstairs the second time. But basically, you can modify them. And instead of using enchantments, you add on things like redstone for speed, lapis for luck. Um, what else would there be? Uh, you can add diamonds for durability, emeralds for durability, you can add uh, some cool things for silk touch. All kinds of stuff. Um, get all the materials in you, books. I'm gonna assume almost everyone has read this book, which basically explains how to make all those. Well, this is a very good uh, representation of what Tinker's Construct is. Tools, materials, modifiers. Um, so you create tools like... Uh, you get a stencil table, you put the stencils in, you get these out. Then you put whatever you want in whatever stencil you want, and then whatever material you want. And the tool, you can grab like the tool head, and then you put it into the tool station. And you want to build a pickaxe, so you get a pickaxe head, a tool binding, and a handle. So, yeah, that's basically it. And all sorts of things, and if you click here, you can put modifiers on which is what this book explains. And I'm doing this, like, I'm assuming that a lot of people know what Tinker's Construct is, but I'm doing this um, while this smelts, because time. So all sorts of weapons here, which I think, I think Minecraft should have more things than just a sword. Like an axe is kinda, but you can't normally even get sharpness on it. Anyways, um, you have all sorts of weapons with all sorts of abilities. The frying pans for cooking things, and just kind of fun things like a battle sign. Lethal joke weapon. This chisel is kind of cool, but the chisel mod makes it not necessary. And these are the really cool things. You can have a hammer, which mines a 3x3 area. A lumber axe, which cuts down an entire tree. Excavator, which mines a 3x3 area of uh, dirt and things. And then all sorts of weapons and things. And you can make tools out of any of these materials. Um... Obviously, I'm going to make them out of stone at first, because you can repair them with stone. Um, if you are just starting off, I guess, and you don't really care about repairing them, a really good material is flint. It's, ex it's extremely good. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be enough. Anyways, flint is a good material to start off with uh, until you get iron here. Um, I actually saw this mod before it became Tinker's Construct. I saw this mod when it was Infinitools, and I was like, hey, wow. And this was back when I was making mods, or copy and paste coding. <laughs> I was like, hey, this is so simple. All you have to do is, like, they basically just added a whole heck ton of tools. And they used, like, they used, um... They used unique item IDs for every single tool you could have because you need the damage 
the the metadata, I think. The damage of the tool to represent the damage of the tool, like how much it's damaged. So you'd go in an NEI and you'd scroll through like 50 pages of Infinitools tools because you'd customize them so much. And then I kind of stopped looking at the mod because like I was actually kind of mad that it got so much publicity when it was basically a simple mod. But now they've shown that, wow, this is amazing. But yeah, um, Alamite is a very good one. Uh, very good material to aim for. And slime is really good for durability. All sorts of things. Here, here, here. There we go. Now, modifications. When you add a diamond, 500 extra durability, and then mining level increase to 3. Yeah, yeah. So you can base, you can mine mine lots of things. You can mine. I think you might be able to mine obsidian with it. And then emeralds make it more resistant, give more durability, but fifty percent more durability instead of a solid number. Then redstone gives speed. This is very nice. Um, each redstone dust increases the mining speed by zero point zero eight. 50 out of 50, the boost is 4.0, making a wood pickaxe equivalent to speed of iron. So yeah, when I get a stone pickaxe and max out on redstone, that's it's fairly fast pickaxe. Auto repair, not necessary because I'm going to be repairing it with stone, but useful to know. Auto smelts, eh, I'm probably going to go for fortune with this one. Um, so yeah, this, this little known tip that not many people know. I read through this, and effects... Adds fortune or looting, yeah, increases the level of maximum threshold, yeah, but it has a chance of increasing before. I didn't know that, wow. Sometimes adds luck to the tool. So, if I put one lapis dust on this tool and then use it to mine stone for strip mining, and then I don't mine the ores, that one lapis is going to increase and increase and increase. Because when you have luck, it has a chance to add extra luck. That's one thing I'm going to be doing. And then sharpness, all the sort of things. Uh, you can reinforce it. But keep in mind that there's a limited amount of... A limited amount of modifiers you can have on the tool. Is that enough? Aha! How many did that use? 72. Use 9 cobblestone to make 1 seared cobblestone. Right? Yeah, now there's none. As you can see here, seared cobblestone. Um, can we make that into seared bricks? Probably not. Nope. But, what we can do is we can place it in the back there and expand our smeltery. Unfortunately, I am going to have to mine some more uh, clay and stuff because I do need to get the casting table for the ingots but yeah let's go find us one little pocket of lapis all we need I'm leaving these ores here because I can't be bothered they're not useful to me right now caves anywhere might s um fast forward through this. So, you heard that sound, the pickaxe broke, but it's not gone. Hooray, I forgot to bring the tool station. But I can show the repairing. Once again, I know most people know this, um, but this is again just an introduction to the server. And I'm also not going to be doing too much stuff because, well, from what I, when I think it's getting reset um, fairly soon and based on what I can accomplish in a limited amount of time it's not really worth <laughs> me don't know why I cut that down me spending a lot of time here there we go back as new back as new back as new that English there we go 
Once we get a few more, um, we can probably... Actually, I probably want to make it a tier 3 furnace. Or not tier 3, but 3 levels. Anyways, back to mining. I almost missed that. Wow. Lapis, you are mine. Time to add some luck to my tools. And also, I'm going to get... I'm not sure if I can get 50 redstone, especially with this. How much durability does it have left? 200, it couldn't be 207, it's 207 down. Right? How many hits does it have left? 44. Um, it has some breaking. Yeah, I can, I can get some redstone. Hopefully I can add speed 1 to this. Unfortunately, redstone doesn't multiply or add to itself. Some more redstone. Oh, and redstone drops a lot, so I don't know what I was worried about. 30. More clay, we should get that. Let's see. We should. Actually, you know what? I'll get the entire thing. There's osmium there, too, so that's. Not a deal. Not a deal. I don't even know what I was trying to say. Probably should make a hopper. There's no iron. Hmm. If I had five iron ore, I could make an iron block there. But... And dump this lava in. Wow, it's running low. I don't want to get blood in there, so I'm just going to put that there. Don't want to get my blood in the smeltery. Okay, uh, we didn't get 50 redstone. Eh. Next on the list is diamonds and possibly emeralds. But, uh, tool station is on me. Let's get this. Let's get one lapis on there. We have two modifiers remaining. Wait. No, I want to get a paper binding. Right? That's a bone binding. I want to get a paper binding. Uh, let's go search for some sugar canes. Just so that, um... Uh, we can get that one extra modifier in there. Where would some sugar cane be? There we go. All the way over there. So this has become somewhat of ghost server. Last night I saw two people on. Or not two people, three people. Um, one other new guy who I can't remember his name. Basil came on and then... A guy named Juggernaut. I don't know. <laughs> right. See so yeah, that enforces to the fact that I think the server is in a fairly like deadish state. Got some nice iron, free iron. Always appreciated. I can make an iron block. Hopefully I can uncraft the iron block. I heard that Tinkers did something to that. Ah, the rain! So loud. I really need to get a rain muffler. But, it's for another time. Oh, I need six sugar cane, don't I? Aww. Because one paper stack costs four paper. Which means you need six sugar cane to make necessary. I could go cheat and go to the spawn area, but what's the fun in that? 
Hopefully I'll be expanding. I wonder if, how hard building underwater is with modded Minecraft. How much lava is in there? Wow, that's running out fast. And... Cobblestone. I don't know why that's still there. Oh. When did cobblestone fall in there? Hmm. Okay, let's smelt up uh, nine of this iron. And we should be able to make an iron block. Or two iron blocks, I think. Music is nice. Especially when you're doing everything in one cut. Uh... Use... There has to be another way to get paper. Come on. Paper, paper, paper. Fortunes, force grinding. Wait. Wood chips from the pulverizer. Eh. Hmm. Has to be a way. Alchemical <laughs> chemistry set. Oh no, that's blood magic. I thought that was uh, equivalent exchange. That ring is very loud. So I guess we're planting sugarcane. Might as well plant it all. There's more sugarcane right over there. I am blind. Keeping an eye on the time. Keep in mind that some of this is going to be sped up. Some of this is going to be... Not sped up. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so... We're going to use six of this and plant the other three. I wish this was 1.7 where you could, like, shut off some sounds. Um... Actually, once I finish this, I might cut back when I found a diamond. Or, yeah, get some tools. Get some good tools. Stack of paper. Let's make a binding out of that. Tool binding. Cost 0 0.5. Can we get two pieces of paper back? Huh. Can we just, can we just put the paper in there? What? Oh my god. That's good to know. That's good for you to know. Right. Let's make a stone pickaxe head and a... I don't know what kind of handle we're going to use. Oh, I also want to know if that mod is in here. The one where you can uh, swap out parts. No. Okay, never mind. Um, what handle would be best? I think a slime handle would be really nice. But... Um, uh, handle modifier... An iron handle, but I don't have that yet, no. Hmm. I see this one, 2.0. Yeah, uh, I'll just use a wood handle for now. AKA a stick. So... Stone pickaxe there. We have a pickaxe with a writable, two attack damage, uh, mining speed four, mining level iron four modifiers, while this one is 4.37. Please, what's this? Four. Why is there a bonus? Mining level iron modifiers remaining three, while this one's four. So, 
put a lapis on there. And we don't have 50 redstone, so that's unfortunate. But, yeah. Um, actually, let's do a little time lapse of, of this. Oh, I could have... No, never mind. I couldn't have. Of mining and see how much I get out of this pickaxe. How much luck I get out of this pickaxe. 50. Block of iron. There we go. Craft right into nine ingots. Doubling yours. 101. I'm not even sure there's going to be enough lava to finish this. What did I. Smeltering control it. Empty. Hmm. Okay. So we do need to focus on trying to get our tool uh, tool forge, but that's for another day. Right. Looks so shiny. Nice. Well, not shiny. Like, pretty. I don't know. <laughs> right. Let's get a little time lapse of... There's more clay right there. A little time lapse of this mining and see how many repairs it takes to get up to fortune 1. So, um, yeah, let's go. Is that a mine shaft? Or someone's mine shaft? Right right there. Do you see that? Is that one some I need to check this out. Seems like someone's mine shaft all the way over to my base. At one thousand zero. Odd. Extremely straight tunnel. Where's the tunnel? Is it above? Why would someone make their mine shaft so high? Oh no, it just ends. What is this? Oh no, it's just a very straight cave. Still no diamonds. Whew. Wow. Well, that mining trip was basically <laughs> worthless. Um, that's really unfortunate. I didn't find anything. 
any diamonds, I mean. I don't know why they seem so rare now. Maybe it's because they were just too common in uh, Unhinged, Unleashed. I don't know. Uh, we're going to make uh, room for these later. What I realized is that I do want to get reinforced on here. And the easiest way to get um, reinforced, I believe, is um, Obsidian can get reinforced, but the handle modifier gives 0 0.8. So the easiest way to do that is with iron. Reinforced uh, level 1, you get a handle modifier of 1.3. And this won't affect the ability to repair this. I'd like to add a slime. Uh, handle because durability is better than the handle modifier, I think. But um, yeah, not gonna do that this episode. What the heck happened? My mic completely cut out for. I don't know how long. Wow. Well, that really, really sucked. Or wasn't it wasn't my mic, it was my sound redirection program. Hmm. Anyways, let's get this casting table. Uh we need either gold or aluminum brass, and I don't think we have aluminum. So gold is the way to go. That's almost done. Actually let's see if we have any aluminum. We have to make some Aluminum brass. <laughs> I just said that. Yeah, we do have aluminum. So um Aluminum and copper, I think it is. Right? Aluminum brass is is what? Aluminum and copper, yeah. Three aluminum, one copper. So, three aluminum to one copper. Let's get another piece of cobblestone in there, and oh, I thought I messed up. I thought I just put the cobblestone in there. Right, let's get copper and aluminum. All right, that should be mixing. And one, two, three, four, five blocks away. It's much much faster than waiting for. I think it was. It might have been 30 or 40 minutes for the thing to smelt. That's how long that time lapse took for the thing. It took up a lot of memory. A lot of memory. Right, so we need to get an ingot there, and we're going to make a cast of that. And then we're also going to get a handle and make a cast of that. This episode's getting very long. Um... So just a stone handle should be fine. Stone tool rod. I guess we'll make a binding pattern. Eh, no, we won't be using any binding but paper. So... Maybe white? Nah, that should be fine. And the aluminum and the copper is just about done also. And we... In this version, we should be able to rearrange the things by clicking on them. Hurry up, copper. Hurry up. Come on. Yeah, there's still lava in there. Plenty. Gonna go get another bucket button. There's no point now. Oh, come on. There we go, eight ingots. So, yeah, sure. Let's let's make all the casts, all of the casts. There's no point in just wasting aluminum brass. Um. So let's make the tool binding. Let's make the pickaxe head. Um. Let's make shovel. Wide guard. Sword and axe. 
There we go. I think we are good. Uh, that might actually be more than eight. Hmm. Let's get... Okay, so we are... Oh, we don't want to throw away the ingot. That's for sure. We definitely want this cast. I'll throw a solve stone in there right now. Okay, and we can throw away the tool rod. And then we want to get the shovel. We want to get the pickaxe. Yeah, we'll keep that. And then I'll get a sword blade also. Which do we have left? Three ingots left. Um, throw away the sword blade. Why the card? Let's get the axe head first. Okay, and then we'll get the wide guard, because we probably won't be using the other one. Huh, one more ingot. Okay, perfect. We can get the wide guard as well, or the, the binding. And now we're out. Good, good, good. And throw that away. Uh, we probably don't need the stone shard either. Let's go make a... Oh, jeez. Finish that snarling then. Ugh. I was going to make an iron thing, but as you can see here, uh, if you saw from the time lapse also, we did get some lapis. We got six lapis from that, or five lapis. Um, not the greatest thing, but it's, it's something. So we'll be focusing on mining a lot of lapis, but uh, we're going to get some lava. I'm not actually sure why I did this instead of a ladder. Yeah, I can't remember. I think it might have been nighttime. I didn't want to go outside. But such such a pain. Come on, cobblestone. Almost there. One ironing at the ready. There we go. Oh no, we should probably get some iron ore so we can focus on uh, getting that thing. Five, perfect. We have one for the thing and another f one for the the handle and another nine for the block so we're almost there to the tool forge where we can build the really cool tools there we go we have this we're going to make a binding out of paper paper binding And then we are going to make... Oh, God sakes. Seared cobblestone. Hurry up iron. That's taking a very long time. Then we're going to make the handle. We're going to add some lapis to it. We're going to add a lot of redstone to it. Um, let's look at the other modifiers. Modifiers, modifiers modifiers. No, I don't want <laughs> the book in there. One thing I'd like to see is clicking on modifiers to go to modifiers. That might be too hard though. Probably won't be too... I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. They made a book that you can read in-game before Minecraft introduced written books, so I'm not going to judge. Um... At 50 out of 50, the boost is 4.0. 4. I can double the speed of my pickaxe? Huh. Okay, so we want 
first of all, we want to add a diamond to it, we which we won't get to. We want to add redstone, that's two modifiers. Oh, lapis, three modifiers. Is that it? Do we want to help with durability? Probably not. Oh, but we want to possibly... No, we don't need Fluck because we have the thing. So yeah, Lapis, Diamond, and then the rest is... The rest will be Emerald. Or, em not Emerald. The rest will be the thing. That thing, you know the thing. The rest will be Redstone to make the tulip go faster. And then same thing for the Shovel, and I guess we won't get at the Shovel today. Um, where's the ingot cast? The rest will be redstone. There, there, there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, god dang it. Not the ingot cast. That's frustrating. That's very frustrating. Um, tool rod cast. Uh, let's get more lava. I have now been recording for one hour. I have. I don't even want to know how big the file size is. And because I run on a solid state, that file is actually fairly decent because I don't have a terabyte drive. Come on. I'm not going to mess it up this time. So at the same time, yeah, I'll, I'll get the, the axe and the shovel. There's no point in not doing it. Come on, iron ore. Do your thing. Fine, then. And they'll also have stone heads, but I won't be able to get the writable from it. Oh, well. Go iron ingot. Doesn't this just say half? Oh my. <sighs> All the mistakes. All of them. Keep that in there. Right, we have two iron tool rods. Um, let's see. Pickaxe head, paper binding, iron tool rod. And there we go. Writable reinforced one with four modifiers. So we add a lapis to that to get luck. And then we reserve one for diamond and then we get 100 redstone. So that's that much plus that, I believe. Right? That's 100. Let's try to make some blocks out of it. Um, yeah, 99 plus 1. Okay, um, but there we go. A lot simpler that way. Redstone and redstone, and then we add this. Oh, this is going to be the real ultimate pickaxe. Ultimate pickaxe. Not a reference to Captain Sparkles at all. <laughs> 80, 90, 100. There we go. We have a mining speed of 12 mining level of iron, unfortunately. But uh, we have lapis and redstone. Let's see how fast this mines. I keep falling. More cobble. Uh, 
I keep freaking falling. Let's see how. <laughs> words, words form in my mouth. That is a decent speed. Decent, decent, decent. Look at that. It's a stone pickaxe. But it's amazing. It also has very, very little durability. But oh well. That's what the diamond's for. Look at that. It's amazing. It's just a stone pickaxe with redstone. And the lapis, I believe, is uh, like multi-use, so just one modifier for lapis is enough to get fortune 3. So much coal. Uh... Okay. So that was great. Lava, right, right, lava. But thank you for watching this episode. Um, if you actually learned something, I'd be surprised because you've been living under a rock. <laughs> if you haven't played with Tinker's Construct yet or haven't seen any videos on Tinker's Construct, but explain, like, obligatory explanations. What's that sound? You hear that, right? But yeah. Obligatory explanation of Tinker's Construct. And we are done with this episode. So actually, there's one last thing we, uh, I want to do before we get going. And I found a pocket of two diamonds. After maybe another half hour of caving. Not strip mining, just caving. So yeah. That's a long time. Um, let's see. Diamond gold. There we go. Now we have two modifiers remaining. We're going to put a diamond on. And we have one modifier remaining. We're going to put redstone on it. There we go. So, we have 16.5 um, 16.75 mining speed. Bonus, I think, might be from mining with it. And we're going to stack up the durability here. Okay, it's gonna take a lot of cobblestone to repair this thing. But yeah, we have that now. Now for the shovel. I'm gonna repair it first. Um, ultimate shovel. 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 There we go. We are going to just add redstone to this for now. Um, I might add silk touch to it later. But uh, I'm going to be up upgrading to an excavator. So there we go. We have this shovel, we have this pickaxe, and now we are going to upgrade also our tool station into a tool forge. And we're just about done that last layer. It's really quick. Um, there, there. There. Tool forge. Now, more things. Um, hammer, we are going to make eventually. Lumber axe, we're going to make as soon as possible. Excavator, good. And, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, actually, let's complete this, too. There we go. Haha. -ha. Getting lots of things. Gonna make this twice as fast now. But yeah, I'll see you next time.